As you may know, we have a problem. We have put and keep putting too much CO2 into the atmosphere, leading to the problems we know about today. The culprit? Mainly combustion engine cars. The solution? Banning combustion engine cars, as more and more countries have planned to do. That's a good intention, but actually an awful move. Why? Because you don't exactly want to ban the cars, you want to ban the fuels they burn. We are pumping oil from the ground, burning it in engines, which releases a ton of energy, but also massive amounts of CO2, which is released into the atmosphere. It turns out this chemical reaction of burning fuel into CO2, as most chemical reactions for that matter, is reversible. For instance, if you run an electric current in water, you decompose the water into oxygen and hydrogen, but then you can burn the hydrogen, which recombines with oxygen, back into water. It is a reversible operation. Believe it or not, the same thing is perfectly doable with atmospheric CO2, which can be recombined back into fuel. It is a very well known and mastered chemical process. The recombination requires a source of energy, and if this energy is carbon neutral, then we obtain clean fuel by removing CO2 from the atmosphere. This fuel can then be used in regular combustion engine cars, just like the fuel pumped and refined from the ground. It will then produce and release the same amount of CO2 into the atmosphere, but since the CO2 was removed in the first place, this is actually a carbon neutral cycle, just like an electric car. So instead of outright banning petrol cars, a better move would be to ban oil pumped from the ground. The result would be the same, no new carbon emissions either way, and people would have the choice between going with an electric car or to use green synthetic gasoline.